The British have given us many rock and roll heroes. The Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the Who, and Spinal Tap. Spinal Tap? That's right, Spinal Tap. You know what I want. You know what I need. Popular music may never be the same after a fictional band named Spinal Tap breaks loose in a new movie parody called This is Spinal Tap. What the flower people say. Director Rob Reiner has created a comedy that is hilariously authentic in its portrayal of three heavy metal has-beens. Spinal Tap takes its cue from real rockumentaries, such as D.A. Pennebaker's classic Monterey Pop and David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. But the creators of Spinal Tap approach rock with tongue firmly in cheek. Right, there might be the question running through someone's mind watching us. Are they kidding? Is it a joke? Yeah, is it a joke? Um, well... The answer is yes, but no. And no. Yes, we and, might, and but no. Though it's almost impossible to recognize them underneath their wigs, the members of Spinal Tap are actually comedians Christopher Guest, Michael McKeon, and Harry Shear. Director Rob Reiner portrays a documentary filmmaker traveling with the band. One louder. Why don't you just make ten louder and make ten be the top number and make that a little louder? As you know, I was, I was offered to direct the, uh, the Attack of the Full Figured Gals and uh, on Golden Pond 3D. And I turned those down because when I had the chance to, uh, to put these people on film and preserve them from musical posterity, it just uh, jumped at the chance. I think what, what really inspired us to do a satire on rock and roll is kind of the, the seriousness with which a lot of rock and roll performers take themselves and their activity. Um, that was probably the most inspiring thing. We sat through a lot of rock documentaries, and uh, the Beatles were really the Beatles. A lot of the other groups who had rockument rockumentaries made about them wished they were the Beatles. Give me some money. Because of its offbeat style, Spinal Tap may have trouble finding an audience, but many rock fans will appreciate the humorous accuracy of this music business send-up. In the final analysis, Spinal Tap is a tribute to rock and roll. Most of the satires that are done on rock and roll are usually done by people who don't like rock and roll. This is uh, one done by people who genuinely like it, so even though there's, there's irreverence, there's also love at the same time, which makes it a, a little bit different.